Welcome to Sound Lab TV. In this episode, we'll see how Joe remixes the song Uptown Girl by Kashawn from his upcoming album. Let's take a look, or should I say, listen. This is probably what I probably have for Kashawn, and I'll send it over to you. Let's have a listen to the track. Sounds good. I'm going to add another grand piano and I can do a harmony. Joe decides to add another piano track. A little bit. Up one semitone. A semitone, sometimes called a half tone or a half step, is the distance from a white key to a neighboring black key on the piano keyboard. Oh, command. Command and A selects all the notes. Sometimes, Sometimes it can sound, sound a bit weird. weird. Let's have another go. That's the one. It's in tune now. That new piano harmony sounds really good. Joe gets an email with Kashawn's a cappella in. An a cappella is a vocal track without musical accompaniment. He tests it out on iTunes. Seems fine. 98 BPM. Oh, BPM means beats per minute. The higher the number, the faster the song. Um, how do I speed up the tempo? Uh, time and pitch machine. Joe uses time and pitch machine to speed up the vocal track. I'll see you uptown, walking down the street. Oh, I'm going straight downtown, walking down the beach. Uptown girl, I'll see you uptown. Sounds like a hit to me. Next, Joe adds some effects to the track. Um, I'm going to add some reverb and Space Designer. Space Designer is one of the reverb effects in Logic. If you haven't watched it already, there's a SoundLab TV episode about reverb available. Check it out. Joe changes some of the settings. And then adds a distortion effect too. Some distortion, some overdrive into the bus. He makes the sound grittier and then adds a limiter to stop the sound overloading. A limiter is a device that stops sound from going above a certain volume. It stops your speaker from blowing up. And now put the output level to minus 4.0. So because it, so it can prevent the sound from clipping even further. Now it sounds better, not too loud or too quiet. Joe's happy with what he's done. Fine. Now... I'll click save as. Now he's going to save it with a suitable name. Hey dog, redone <laughs> by me. Yes, and I'm gonna bounce it down. The computer saves the project. This is called bouncing. I'll click save and I'll click save again. And I'll just close it down. Dance. <laughs> You can hear the original on Kloshorn's new album, which is out later this year. It's fun to make new music for a song that already exists. Give it a try. Until next time, I'm David for Sound Lab TV. 
Keep your ears open. Bye. Technology. Yeah.